And um, just wanted to see that um, actually Discovery World Shores continues to go all time highs, 9% now trading at 490. So we have been seeing a lot of acquisitions and um, acquisitions of this company. Let's read the company's disclosures here. So for the kind of um, company that's in the Philippines, this is a world, um, this owns a world-class island, right? So Palawan. So let's read some of the acquisitions uh, being shared in the company news and disclosures. So amended additional subscription to Lucky Cloud, Palawan Cove. So let's take a look at these resorts. Um, so I'm not sure if I have it here. All right. So I've been looking at as well some U.S. names here. Uh, but uh, all right. So let's take a look at this one, uh, Discovery Real Shores. All right. So let's take a look at if they have like videos in their website. So I think like many people are aware that Philippines is a company, uh, Philippines is a country who has a lot of beaches in Baraka and Palawan. And Discovery Shores is the first star a uh, five-star resort hotel in Baraka. You can see that these are actually some of their actual pictures. Let's watch a few things in their videos, guys. This is just two minutes, so let's watch it. Well, this is their, just their Baraka. Let me see if Discovery World has their own website. Let me see. Discovery Shores. Sorry, not Discovery Channel. Discovery. So uh, Discovery World Corporation. Because that's their ticker symbol in the Philippines. Uh, Discovery World Corporation. Let me see if they have their own website. Or is it just like company stuff? The magic of Discovery World. Um, no matter what happens, we keep believing in a world of Discovery where something magical happens. Let me see if this is their company or is this something else? 80 subscribers, Vascaron Resort. Yeah, I think this is it. So it is their official website. So you've got Travel Tour Expo, Hotel in Artigas, Hotel in Tagaytay, Vascaron Resort, a virtual tour of Club Paradise, Boracay's Luxury Resort Hotel. All right, let's go to the website of Discovery World. Discovery World Shores. So um, Discovery World Corporation official website, click here. So in their homepage, this is what you'll see. Investors relations properties, it's very clear that they have a lot of beaches. Discovery Shores Baraka is what you've, saw, you've seen in the video. You've got Club Par Paradise, Discovery Fleet, Sonoran Corp, Vanilla Beach, Balawan Cove, Long Beach, Lucky Cloud Night. In the past few months uh they have been acquiring a lot of shares so um what is it that the market believes in that uh is prompting uh this stock to go basically from as high as one uh to go to us uh sorry, from as low as one to as high as five so that's a 5x move in just about one two three months let's try to uncover what's happening between discovery world corporation and what the market believes that there should be value that so um, you could see from their properties, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's gather some news here. Revenue, revenue trend for the last seven years, at least from here, is showing that there's an increase in revenues in terms of um, hotel management. 
And then in the news, their discovery discovery world is growing. Their Palawan firm and uh, their Elmina Resorts, the two families consolidating resorts assets under the listed discovery world report. So these are some active news. Let's read it. So this was 2016. The company poured 120 million. Uh, investing in three companies that owns real assets in the country's fastest growing travel destination. So the hotel and resort company acquired shares in Sonoran Corp, Palawan Cove, and Long Beach Property Holdings. And that was actually a company that, um, so that was like four years, five years ago, they've been acquiring um, uh, stuff within the Palawan and uh, they've been doing that with aqua acquisition through their own cash. So the, the acquisition is intended to increase their working capital. The shares in Long Beach will create opportunities for the expansion of its resort business. That's like 2016. 2016, they also poured 730 million pesos in El Nido Resort. The two families started the development of its third tourism estate to capitalize on the country's growing e-tourism, uh, tourism industry. They developed around us, uh, they put in 730 million pesos developing Vanilla Beach El Nido, a 120 key hotel in Palawan with 3,400 square meters of discovery is to doing a process of securing financing and the owned and resort operated by K Islands. Eventually they bought out this uh, K, K Islands, a subsidiary of the listed company. 5.7 hectare property in La Trinidad Benguet. So they, got, they went into an IPO about eight years ago, filing for a 551 million pesos initial public offering. And um, during that time, their profits were like melted down 25 million pesos in just nine months. So operating during that time was uh, very small. Um, understand this company not necessarily on the net operation is uh, their operating assets but is that exactly the resort assets that they own like the companies that they bought the Palawan assets and all of those uh, hotels real estates that they've been um, purchasing over the last couple of years so we're gonna try to see in the last eight years 2013 to 2021 what exactly is inside the company that you the two family here in 2016 has consolidated you're seeing a billion pesos worth in just 2016 of these leisure um, companies. You've got Kai Islands, you've got Sonoran Corp, Discovery Leisure. So Kai Islands is a five hectare in El Nido Palawan. Sonoran is 57 hectares in La Trinidad Benguet. So they've been starting into this uh, development for quite a while now. And they do have their cruise boats. So um, during this time, 2016, it was trading at about one peso seventy cents. So for so we could argue that in the last, I, I would say like in the last eight years, this company has not much moved despite all their acquisitions. Wouldn't you agree? So let's take a look at what this uh, this has done over the last eight years. Let's take a look at that. Let's close the company's market cap is about four billion pesos. The question is, is it 4 billion pesos or is it worth 5 to 10 billion pesos? Uh, so we went to the company. Let's take a look at that. Recently, you're seeing actually in the edge that they've been acquired. I've been like checking on this. All right. So 2013 to 2014, we're seeing an all-time high move here, breaking that 329. So um, And also this previous high about 420. So definitely the market sees that there's value from about 150 all the way to about 5 pesos, even breaking 3 and 4. These are all-time highs for the last 8 years. We have to go to the edge. So I uh, read on the acquisitions that the company has been doing for the past couple of months. This was a meeting held on January 20, 2021. Resolved to increase Discovery World Corporation subscription by an additional 40 million pesos. So the company is acquiring DWC's business will create opportunities for this corporation's resort business. So for just 5.8 million pesos, they're trying to buy up this Kai Islands with five hectares. You heard me right, five million pesos for five hectares. That's an amazing price, wouldn't you agree? This closure reflects additional information, the increase for about 200 million shares to 240 million. So 40 million pesos, still cheap. <clears throat> Disclosure is being ad amended to indicate execution date. So actually, when I, um, I'm not a property 
real estate agent by any matter. But, um, you know, Philippine condominiums here in Makati would, uh, you know, usually fetch something in the realm of about 200,000 per square meter. And we're talking about hectares here. <clears throat> so could understand the values that uh, are, are that the market might be perceiving on the Palawan real estate assets per se. So um, 5.8 million, as you could see, Kai Islands, a wholly owned subsidiary now of DWC. You heard me a while ago that uh, Kai Islands is about five hectares. So if they bought like 240 million pesos worth of five hectares, still cheap, wouldn't you agree? Now let's take a look at this. Acquisitions. Balay Holdings. Balay Holdings, they bought 26,200,000 shares to Balay Holdings. And um, that would be amounting to 55 million shares. On February 6, basically acquiring and developing their real estate asset portfolio in these key tourism assets. Balay Holdings owns real properties in Boracay to be used as staff of house of employees of the company. So um, Balai Holdings is uh, so either, we're just telling you how much the company is increasing their shares on these. A lot of acquisitions being shared here, January 25, 10 million pesos to be used as working capital, Discovery World Corporations for Palawan Cove. So basically what's happening here is that the WC, in exchange for that money that they're giving to these resort owners, a uh, resort that they own as well, for working capital, they're getting more and more shares to augment working capital, creating opportunities for the corporation's resort business. So obviously, this year, COVID, uh, last 2020 COVID pandemic, um, it's it's not impossible that there are no people going to resorts. There's no travel, right? But this is going to be like a twofold. It's travel, restri uh, travel reopening play. It's also about the values being unlocked on that acquisition of so many properties. Lucky Cloud 9 owns real estates in uh, General Laguna, Shergao, Surigao del Norte. This property will be used as a site for hotel and hostel developments. So they are developing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus hotels. So uh, most likely that's the, the key player, that, that's the key move in my view of what's happening in the market. January 21, 2021, take a look. Executive increasing 40 million pesos, uh, shares of Lucky Cloud 9 resorts here. So um, let's take a look at what else the market is seeing. Material information, November 26, 2020. Please be advised that a company has accepted the offer of J.D. Pearly Corporation. Subscribe to 190 million pesos for corporation shares at a 1 peso 60 cents per share. The authority to determine the final number of shares is to be subscribed by J.D. Pearly, designed to Executive La La. The decision of new shares would result in J.D.E. Pearly Corporation. Um, owning more than 10% of DWC's resulting outstanding capital stock. That being the case, the listing rules of the Philippine Stock Exchange require that the transaction should be approved by the company shareholders. So you're seeing a majority owner buy 190 million shares at 1.6. So a lot of the shares are being acquired by the company, seeing that the shares are too cheap to remain still there. So the 3x move, was that enough or should it be a 5 to 10x move? All right, let's, gonna lo let's look at it. Let's look further how Palawan Tourism Boracay has been increasing over the last 10 years. Palawan Tourism by the numbers, Philippines. Of course, you should be aware that the Philippines is blessed and Condé Nas said that El Nido Palawan Coron is one of the best beaches, not just in the Philippines, but the world. The world. So top 20 Palawan Philippine tourist spots, 5 billion pesos is just $100 million. Surely, that is what? Too cheap. I don't even need to do a lot of valuations here. Palawan tourism, all right. Let's take a look at visitors. Visitors. In the Philippines, municipal tourism data show that from 10,000 tourists in 1997, the number has grown tenfold in 10 years, uh, in 20 years, so about 144,000 in 2017. Annual growth hasn't um, stopped below 15% since 2011. El Nido has been one of the top three destinations in Palawan. So this is very clear. You can just do a Google search what Palawan uh, tourist arrivals are showing to you. Now, if you ask Filipinos what are the top destinations, not really about Filipinos, but uh, yeah, let's take a look at the local top destinations of travel, local top travel 
destinations in the Philippines. Best places, all. Cesar Davao, Sagada, Coron, Baguio, Puerto Princesa, Samal, Apo, Shergao. So most of these are actually getting um, affected right now by COVID pandemic. Baraka is number one. Bohol is number two. Cebu is number three. Uh, number four is Banawe, Vigan, Manila. So what you're seeing here is that this is more like a tourism play. If you're to ask me this tourism and real estate assets, take a look further on your material information, the results here. But I think that the market, the, the real lack of the DWC is liquidity. But as you could see, with a company buying up 190 million shares, surely the company is willing to buy all of the shares if it's too cheap. So um, you're seeing that the market is already growing, um, growing fascinated with the company. As you could see, rising share prices, positive movements on the price, but also positive movements as well on the company's acquisitions. So 150, this is where the company acquired a lot of shares as was written in those edge disclosures. 162,490 is 300%, a 3x move. Is this going to go back to 320? I'd say that if it does, still many people would buy in. So 160, 320, 480, let's see where this goes. But uh, looks like this is a company that the market still sees as undervalued.